Hi, this is GoCode. In this video, we will see this problem named max distance. So, in this problem, we are given an array A of integers and we have to find the maximum of J minus I subjected to the constraint of AI should be smaller than or equals to AJ. And if there is no solution possible, then we just have to return minus one. So, if we try to solve this problem using brute force, what we will do, we will run two loops. In the outer loop, we will pick elements one by one from left. And in the inner loop, we compare the picked element with the elements starting from the right side. And we can stop the inner loop as soon as we see an element greater than the picked element and keep updating the maximum of J minus I so far. But this approach would take O n square n time complexity. Let's see how we can solve this in O n log n time complexity by taking an example. So let's say this is our given array. Now let's sort the array and we will also keep track of indices of the element in original array. After sorting the array, we get this array and indices of the elements in original array are these. Now if you observe our problem simply boils down to finding the maximum difference of indices j minus indices i such that i should be smaller than j. Take some time to observe this. We can solve this easily by keeping the maximum element at each step from right and update our answer if the difference between the maximum index and current element is greater than our previous answer. Let's see how we will do this. So basically this is our indices array. Let's initialize our answer equals to int min and maximum index equals to the rightmost element of the indices array which is indices 5 which is 0. Now we will start picking element from uh, 4 to 0. Uh, let's pick element from the indices 4. At this time we check if max index minus indices 4 which is 0 minus 4 is greater than our answer or not. Since minus 4 is greater than our int min so we will update our answer and now answer will become minus 4 and along with this we will update our maximum index variable also which will become max of max index comma indices 4 which is max of 0 comma 4 which is 4. Now we will again see if we can maximize our answer by going down to index 3. At this point again we will check if our max index minus indices 3 is greater than our answer or not. Since max index minus indices 3 basically 4 minus 2 which is 2 is greater than our answer which is minus 4 we will update our answer and our answer will become 2 and along with this again we will update our max index to the max of max index which is 4 and indices 3 which is 2 basically four, max of 4 comma 2 which is 4 now go to the iteration 2 again we will check here max index 4 minus 3 which is 1 uh, 1 is smaller than answer we will not update our answer and answer will be the same which is 2 and again we will update the max index which will be the max of 4 comma 3 which is still 3 still 4 now we will check on first index in the indices array at this time we can see max index 4 minus indices 1 which is 1 4 minus 1 is 3 and 3 is obviously greater than our answer which is 2 till now so we will update our answer to and along with this we will update our max index also which is max of 4 comma 1 which is 4 
Now we will check on indexed zeroth index. Again, we will check whether max index minus index is zero, which is four minus five minus one is not greater than three. So our answer answer will not change, and it will be three. And we will update our max index, which will become max of four comma five, which is five. So finally, what we got? We got the answer, which is three. So basically, here here our A J is nine and A I is one, and we can see that four minus one is three. So that's our answer. Now let's go to the implementation part. Thanks for watching.